Next question is from Bag Double Zero MBA. Are mirrors an underrated piece of gym equipment? Mirrors. You know what's funny <laughs> is we think that mirrors are. I think a lot of people think mirrors are in the gym just so you can look at yourself and check yourself out while you're working. Most people think that. I would assume the the reality is a mirror is a very valuable piece of exercise equipment because unless you have a trainer or a coach watching your form, you oftentimes feel like you're moving a particular way and you're not like I all the time. Yes. Like, like for me, for example, shoulder press is a big one because I, I had left my left shoulder. I had my AC joint resected years ago. So I always have to be careful to make sure that my right and my left are balanced. And if I don't press in front of a mirror, inevitably I have a slightly, just a little different between the right and left. And I can't tell, I can't tell when I'm not looking in the mirror. I, I can't feel it. I have to look in the mirror and then actively bring one shoulder down to, to match. So, and that's what mirrors are for. Watch your form critically, make sure that you're symmetrical and things are moving the way they should um, and, and, and balance things out because oftentimes the way you feel isn't necessarily accurate. Yeah, it's interesting. It was a it was definitely a shift when I didn't have a mirror when I'd squat because I was definitely dependent a lot on um, the mirror to to be able to dictate um, those little nuances of oh, oh you know when I drop down a little bit on one side versus the other or you just see visually uh, some of these discrepancies as you're going down to the squat I would slow way down and really watch myself and then you know taking that away um, you, you did find well I found myself uh, getting into the momentum of the squat a lot of times and having to check myself um, to uh, you know to really pay attention and to really feel all of those um, different things uh, type of imbalances starting to form. So um, I, I do find they're very valuable. It's kind of comical because you're such an anti life. I hate the mirror at the same time yeah. because of the fact of all these people getting in front and just constantly doing the flex posing stuff. <laughs> uh, but it, it really does. Um, I caught you one time. I, I mean, I do. I, I do it just like anybody else. Dude. Yeah. I talk shit, but it's it's because I'm guilty of yeah. doing some of those things too. If I get a good pump, you or just whatever. don't do it in front of everybody. Never. Yeah. Just in the bathroom. Yeah. yeah just yeah. always in the bathroom. I, you know, I actually think this is, uh, um, almost a silly question. I don't, I, I think it's pretty obvious, but I think there's a stigma around the mirrors. Like I think that there's this, uh, this idea, especially if you're a, yeah, a, it's a stereotype, right? Yeah. There's a total stereotype around using the mirror that it's this narcissistic bodybuilder or woman's competitor that loves to look at themselves all the time. And of course that exists, but I don't think that was the actual evolution of the mirror in the gym. I don't think it was, let's put mirrors in here for all the narcissistic people to stare at themselves. Like, <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious that, it, you know, if you don't have a trainer or you don't have a partner who is actually trained in biomechanics or can help you mm -hmm. with your form, the mirror is the next best thing. Or now using like your phone to video yourself. And so that's the other thing too. Mm -hmm. Like I know it, we're quick to judge somebody who pulls their phone out and is recording because it looks silly because of, you know, we're making fun of influencers and like that. But I've used my phone many times uh, to record myself, not because I want to make a cool video of myself, you know, or post it later on. It's because I'm watching my technique mm -hmm. and I'm being hypercritical of my movement. And even the mirror isn't enough feedback. I, I get a little bit of feedback in front of me, but I want to see behind me or yeah. I want to see the side yeah. of me. And I want to... Uh, watch it and critique it and then go back to the drawing board and adjust. And so I think mirrors have tremendous value and especially if you're someone relatively new. Now, I think I can train today. Uh, and in fact, my garage has no mirrors. So when I train in my own garage, I don't have a mirror in my garage and mm -hmm. I'm completely fine. It's Do not, the workouts even count though? Yeah, that's right. They may not even count, you know? <laughs> so I don't think it's necessary for an advanced lifter to have to have a mirror, but Man, I think they're I think they're very valuable. It's just it's just funny because once you get, once you get a recruitment pattern in your body, something that you do very often, it feels normal. Mm -hmm. So if one foot pronates, but that's how you always squat, when you get into position and squat, it's going to feel very balanced and normal because this is how you your body moves. So you're not going to notice unless you really. That's a big one for me. When I squat, if I look at myself right, straight ahead, I watch my feet because that's where I notice the difference, and I'm yep. paying attention closely. In fact, one time. I worked out at a gym. I thought this was brilliant. I don't see this being a popular thing, though, but it, I thought it was very smart. The mirror had um, lines, so it had like a few vertical lines that were straight, and they were perfectly straight, and then a few horizontal lines, so that when you're lined up in the mirror, 
you you have these kind of these markers and you can see one shoulder is a little higher than the other in, in relation to the the lines that were on the mirror. Mm -hmm. It was really really cool. I don't see it being a popular thing because I think it, it, you know people would rather look at a mirror without any distractions on it. But no, it's it's a very valuable piece of equipment. I think if you have a home gym, you probably should put a mirror in there at least where you do complex lifts in front of. Maybe not your isolation exercises, but if you're squatting and overhead pressing and deadlifting and stuff like that. That'll record it. Well, you know? you're I always going to go to your default movement patterns uh, to that point. And, and I don't think that a lot, a lot of people realize like how far away that can get uh, sometimes if you haven't been critically analyzing yourself and, and, you know, going through the technique and the movement of it, it's, it's very helpful to get feedback either from a coach or be able to see it visually. Totally. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here and be sure to subscribe.